This is Caleb with Make. That new Mad Max movie got me pumped. That flame guitar was amazing. I wanted my own, but I don't live in the post-apocalyptic desert. I live in the Midwest, so I gotta bring it down a notch. Instead of a flame guitar, I made a flame ukulele. It works just like a normal ukulele, but it also shoots fire. You can use any ukulele for this project, but you'll be permanently modifying it, so it's a good idea to use a cheap or second-hand one. The rest of the parts can be found at your local hardware store. You will also need the following tools. Before we begin, a word of safety. This project is pretty dangerous. You're making a flamethrower after all. Make sure your workspace is clear of flammable objects, keep your hair tied back, and keep a working fire extinguisher within arm's reach. It's also a great idea to work on this project with someone who can help in case there's a fire. Okay, let's get started. The first step is modifying the caulking gun so it no longer ratchets. Remove the small nut from the center of the plunger and then pull the rod free from the gun. Remove the locking tab and then replace the plunger rod and reattach the plunger assembly. Pulling the trigger should push the plunger forward but when you let go it should return to its original position. Drill four holes into the side of the caulking gun two at each end. Then, with the nozzle end of the caulking gun angled upward, mark matching holes on the ukulele and drill those holes. Line the holes up and feed zip ties through to fasten the gun to the ukulele. Tape the narrow end of the hose to the head of the ukulele, keeping the flames clear of any wooden parts of the instrument. Next, we're gonna prepare the shape lock. Start by boiling some water. Put this boiled water in a heatproof container and drop a large spoonful of shape lock pellets into the hot water. When they turn transparent, pull them out of the water using a spoon and immediately fit them over the large end of the hose, completely plugging the end. Let this plastic cool. Measure the nozzle of the butane canister and drill a hole slightly smaller than the end of the nozzle. Mount the electrodes of the igniter to the nozzle of the hose, insulating them with shrink tubing or electrical tape so that they don't ground against the hose, and then shape them so that the arc forms in front of the hose outlet. Make sure the arc isn't bridging to the nozzle or the hose in any places. Find a place on the ukulele where you want to mount the igniter trigger. Scratch away the finish on the ukulele and on the igniter and mount it into place with hot glue. Now you're ready to make some fire. Make sure you're in an open, safe environment and prepare your fire extinguisher. Keep your hair tied back or underneath a hat. Place the butane canister in the caulking gun, fitting the nozzle into the hole we drilled in the shape lock. Place the plunger against the bottom of the canister. Trigger the igniter and verify that you see a spark. Give the handle of the caulking gun a squeeze while triggering the igniter and the flame should emit from the nozzle. You may need to manually blow out the flame in between ignitions. Obviously, you can take this project further by attaching it to any size guitar. But most importantly, be safe. Thanks for watching.